going to be an interesting shoot off. We've got some big guns out there. We've Smash got it. it. Here's a look at the best ever to play the unknown game of my opinion. As long as Sharon keeps in the 10 ring, these girls are going to have to get really aggressive to catch her. You know, senior pro is a judging class. It's an unknown, di unknown distance. Oh, and he got wow. it. Good shooting, boys. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Competition Archery Media alongside cam manager Josh Grind. Josh, three years in the making, we have a big announcement today. What is it? We do. Finally glad we get to announce this, PJ. We've been working on it for months, but when we started, when you first did that first podcast with me, we set out with the goal, and I know that Cam was established on the goal of bringing archery to the mainstream. So for 2021, uh, Cam is partnering with Mike Tyrell and the ASA, and the Sportsman's Channel to bring the ASA shoot downs live via the Sportsman's Channel's networks. That's awesome. And so what size audience are we talking about there? Potential. Well, potential. We, you know, we have the Sportsman know they've got 28 million subscribers. So that's 28 million people. That's, that's an engaged audience, PJ. They're already subscribed to Sportsman's Channel. They're watching their content. So we've got 28 million there. We also will continue because we've grown an audience that or maybe doesn't have the Sportsman's Channel or they're just used to coming to Facebook to watch the live right. shoot downs. Those will still take place as well. So that'll be on the Sportsman's Channel's Facebook page. And I think the last time I looked, they were at like 830,000 subscribers there. We'll nice. share that on the cam page. So, you know, this is greatly expanding the audience for the ASAs in 2021. Biggest deal is this is, we're getting these potential 28 million. Nothing else changes, however. Every, right. the way people have been enjoying our coverage of events, our coverage of the broadcasts, that's all gonna stay the same. It will still be available where it was before. Absolutely, yeah, we will continue to have it on the Facebook page, all the media coverage, so the features that we do, the interviews, the, the spotlights, all of that stuff will still take place through our media outlet on our Facebook page. And so you'll still get all the content, it's just a larger audience. And let's tell people why that's important, why it's important for archery, why it's important for the sponsors, for our sponsors. I mean, even yeah. the archers, they're gonna get extra right. exposure. Yeah, this is, this is good for everybody because as the sport gets more exposure, and we've seen this year with 2020 being the year that it is, people are exploring the outdoors. They're yes. trying things they've never tried before. So, And there are a lot of people that have no idea that target archery or 3D archery even exist. And so this is going to expand that audience. And as I got excited as I talked to the people at the Sportsman Channel, they say this is their venue for that crowd. Like this is the stream that they push those, the technical people, the people that are looking for the how-tos and how to get involved. So I think it's really good for the sport of archery as a whole. Um, because I talk to people, I'm sure you do, and, and we all do, where you talk about going to film a pro archery event, and they're like, wait a minute, there's pro archers? <laughs> and so this is good for the archers. It'll increase their exposure. Yeah. They'll be able to support their brands. And, and we know and love so many of the personalities at an ASA. Uh, this will bring the mainstream into see, you know, who are the Dan McCarthy's and Nathan Brooks, the Sportsman's Channel, those guys know Levi. So, but it, it'll grow that. And from a sponsor standpoint, you know, after 2020 being the year that it was with events, it, it's, I'm so excited to be able to tell our sponsors, hey, we're, we're increasing your viewership. And, uh, you know, those sponsors made it possible for us to continue to do what we did in 2020. So what is it going to look like? Uh, you know, uh, typical ASA, we have two days of qualifications. Then we have the shoot downs, uh, the pro shoot downs, usually on Saturday night. And then Sunday, you know, there's more amateur. What's an ASA coverage going to look like? going forward. Correct. So from CAM, it's going to continue to be the same thing. We're going to shoot the features. We're going to shoot from the qualifying ranges and, and put all of that stuff out. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when the shoot downs start, and they'll always be at that 5 p.m. time, you can go onto the Sportsman Channel on your television. You can go to their Facebook page and stream and, or watch the, the live broadcast. So that's what it looks like at home. You know, you've got the option now just to turn it on, Sportsman Channel, and watch it. For the archers and those people attending live, it doesn't change. The, the format's gonna stay the same. I know Mike worked hard this year to kind of streamline that and, and get that format and a nice smooth schedule. And, and it's great. The episodes that we've shared with the Sportsman's Channel, it, it works. I think the shooters will be excited to know that we don't have to change anything. So for them, you know, we, we've toyed around with the known pro and, and there's been some hate 
where we ask them to shoot <laughs> um, single file instead of simultaneously like the rest of the divisions to see if, if it was better for TV. Uh, after doing that research and some of the work we did this year, we're able to keep the original format of the ASA where all five shooters are shooting at the same time. And that's a big deal because there, there's strategy involved in that. And so we're super happy that the format's going to stay the same. And this has been, this will be our third season coming up. It's been a learning experience for us. We had to figure out how we can do this to cover what's happening, but then also how to make it viewer friendly. Right. That's the ultimate goal, to get it out in front of more people. And so, I mean, a cam broadcast now, how many cameras are we talking about on the field? Yeah, for an ASA final, there's 10 cameras out there. So we've got four that are, that are kind of stationary. They're on tripods or they're on the jib, which gives us the cool aerial shot. We've got the mobile camera that, that gives Don Bailey his minute of fame as he's holding up the scores. And then we've got the five stationary targets on the, uh, I'm sorry, five stationary cameras on the targets. Right. Those. 10 cameras go into the trailer and those guys through a replay system that we installed this year and, and a lot of hard work inside that trailer and an event they're able to, to get, you know, for the viewers at home, they're able to get three, sometimes four of the shooters um, each, each for round. each end. Yeah. So and yeah, that, that's really what has kind of made it possible yeah. to keep that format the same. Cause that was the issue that we saw when we came in first. It's like, how do you know what's happening? I mean, Mike says, okay, everybody shoot and kind of every, the action was all over the place. If you're at the venue, you can see what right. happens. It's how do you show that to people at home? And we've gotten better at that, we're and, figuring yeah, it we out. We wanted it to be more than the, the standard kind of one camera on the line. You see five arrows go and then you see the targets. And, and from a viewer at home is how I started. That can be hard to watch because you, know, you see five people shoot and then there's a camera on a target. Well, whose target was that? Right. I don't even remember. And so we, we wanted to really work on that process to get the single shooter, single target, and be able through replay to show multiple every round. All right, Josh, we are excited for 2021. We've got six ASA tournaments on the schedule. First one coming up, Foley, Alabama, February 25th to 28th. We're excited to bring this potentially 28 million households and however many more, we're just excited for it. Absolutely. We want to take a moment and thank the people at the Sportsman's Channel who've worked hard to make this happen, as, as well as Mike Tyrell and his team at the ASA. We're really excited to see what 2021 holds.